I'll be showing how to use the new Teams Public Preview feature. This allows an organization or a set of individuals to have access to the early Teams features and try them out before they go really broad. So let's get started. I'm here on the office.com homepage and I'm signed in as the admin. I'm going to go down to the lower left here on all apps and I'm going to click in admin to go to the admin portal. Now in the admin portal, I'm going to go down and click show all. And if I scroll down here, I'm going to see teams in the lower left. So let's click teams to open up the teams admin settings. Okay. Now I'm signed into the teams admin dashboard and I'm going to drop down teams right here and you're going to see a few choices. We're going to choose update policies and this is where you can turn on the public preview. Now, global is the organizational wide default. The easiest way to turn this on for everyone in the entire tenant is just click here and there's this show preview features and I'm going to turn it on and you can give it a description. You can say, I turned on the preview or whatever you want. Then I'll hit apply and this is going to apply it across the entire organization. It says up here, global policy was updated. Now, if I wanted to create a custom policy, maybe you've got a group of few people who are your early testers. I'll click add. We'll call this early testers and we'll say people testing the early preview. And I have show preview features and I'll click apply. Now what I want to do is select this one and say manage users. And we're going to add a couple people who are our early testers. We'll add in Kara and Alex. Okay, hit apply. Now in this case, I don't need both the global policy and the early testers at the same time, but this gives you a sense of how you could structure it. And if you want to turn it on for everyone, then you don't need to add the custom policy. Now I'm going to show what it looks like when you sign back in and how to switch your account into the public preview to get access to the latest features. I'll sign in as Kara and she's in this tenant. Now let's go to teams. Okay. Now to switch, this is key. Go to the upper right and drop the profile picture and go to about. You're going to see this new public preview option. I'll click this. Now it confirms and it lets me know this is as is as available doesn't apply to service level agreements. You're kind of on your own. So if there's a bug, you know, that's on you. <laughs> so switch to public preview. Now I'm signed in back in the public preview. Now, for example, I get access to new features right now in public preview on the web is large gallery and together mode. So now I can try that out. Let's do it. Here's a meeting. Let's open it. We'll join. Now I'll put myself into together mode. Hey, now I'll show what this looks like in the desktop to switch over to the same type of preview. Now I'm signed into desktop. If I go to the upper right, I can go here to about and you'll see public preview and make sure you've restarted your team's client. If you're on desktop, if I choose public preview, I get the same alert as we saw in the web. Now, another thing in desktop, you might have to get new updates after you join the public preview. If there are some new teams, desktop updates. So if I go here, I can always check for updates. This is the same both in PC as well as Mac. So if I click check for updates across the top, it says we will check and install any updates while you continue to work. So we'll just give it a second here. Okay. It says I have the latest updates and to enjoy many updates don't require a restart. If you're on the desktop, they'll just apply automatically once in a while. They'll have you reboot teams when the bigger updates are installed, but in general, you have a sense of how that works. One last note, there is a tech community blog that we put out recently and the link is in the description on the screen, but this explains how the different channels work. So you can have a sense there and how the admin can do the same things that we just showed here. What's really important though, there's a link where you can keep up with all the latest updates that are coming to the public preview. So for example, this talks about large gallery and together mode for the web, which I just showed meeting reactions, call merge, and every month there's a new preview pack update. If you want to keep up with those, here's the blog and the link, and it's also in the description. And this gives the details on each of those public preview features that are rolling out. And here's an example of together mode, what's supported, known issues, and things like that. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.